So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up SimPE, going to go to File, New. Under Resource List, you're going to click, right click, and uh, go to Add, and find 2.5 AN files that you want to put in this box. And I already have two waiting, so I select both of them, and I say Open. Okay, so you see User Defined for both, and they look identical. So you're going to click on the first one, go to Resource, change User Defined to Animation Resource, and change Group to 1C0532FA. Hit Commit, go to Plugin View, remember the name of your um, file, and then click Fix TGI. I would, like, for this file name, I would write it down or copy it something. Then you're going to go to your second pose, and uh, where it still says user defined, and you know you have just zeros. Go to resource, change your group to 1C0532FA, change user defined to animation resource, hit commit, go to plugin view, once again remember the name for your file, write it down, copy it something, click fix TGI. Um, so once you're done, you go to File, Save As, and then I will name this Tutorial Import. No spaces. Uh, and then I'm going to click Save, and that's your import file done. Very simple, you just put two, three, how many ever poses you want. Um, just add it to the resource list and then go in and change your group to 1C0532FA, change this to animation resource and go into plugin view and click fix TGI. Uh, and it's just the exact same three steps for every single pose that you want to add that's under your resource list. Alright, now that you've made your import file, it's time for us to actually make the pose box object. So you're going to click on Object Workshop, click Start, and let it load. Once Object Workshop has loaded, you're going to go to Unknown, and find Paul's Reaction Test Object. Click Next. Make sure all your clone settings are on, except for the bottom two. Make sure that Reference Original Mesh and Change Description uh, do not have a tick in the box. And then you're going to click on Start. Go ahead and rename it. And so I will name mine Tutorial Hack Box. Click Update. Click OK. And now you're going to name this one Tutorial Hack. Uh, click Save. And your object was created, and now we go on to the fun part. So the first thing we're going to do is find text lists. You're going to delete, make action, dialogue, and attributes, just like before. And then you're going to go to Pi Menu Strings. When you find Pi Menu Strings, make sure that you're in the Plugin View tab. And basically what you're going to do is delete everything except for set flags. So click on the bottom one, and delete, 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 all the way up. And then we're going to click on default laying only. Hit commit. Now you're going to go to Pi Menu Functions. You're still in the Plugin View tab. You're going to delete everything except for set flags once again. Go on to Behavior Function. Oh yeah, sorry. You want to make sure you click Commit. And then you go into Behavior Function and delete everything except for Function Main and Function Init. So that will be all this junk. Delete that. And delete this. Next we're going to go to Object Data. So find Object Data. There we go. And then you're going to tick whatever boxes you want this to show up in. So I want mine to show up in study, hobbies, and then in overall sort, I always choose hobbies miscellaneous. Then you're going to click get guide. So you're going to need internet connection for that part, but if you're watching this, you've got internet, so that's good. 
So name it whatever you want. Um, mine is tutorial box. I'll click register object. Now hit commit.